Flowers need no introduction. Apart from their beauty, they announce the start of seasons, they are used for scents, they play a part in making honey and serve as a cure for certain medical conditions. This is the home of the Dutch. It is regarded as the flower country because before other people had even thought about it, the Dutch had already started to make money out of flowers. Flora Holland is one of the biggest flower auction halls in the Netherlands today. Every morning roses are cut in Kenya. Within three or four days, the flowers can be at the flower shop somewhere in Europe. Kenya is among other countries in Africa which have flower farms that dot parts of the Rift Valley and the central region. I got an opportunity to work with share agencies by that time. Fida company Riederea Kokoma, Dio Sasa Ikasa Kuigisa Sasa Corruption, Nikwa Dikana, Kwa Hongo. My name is Nancy Honja Mgatia and I was a harvester. The salary are down, the work is hard, my chest was aching very much, I was in pain. 70% of the labor force in the flower, flower farms, that is manual job, is got from the women. Nilikuwa natoka kwa nyumba saa kumi na moja. Dio kwa sababu six ni natakikana kwa kazi. Na nitatoka five ama five thirty. Tena nifike tena saa moja. Ika kuwa hard. Women have got uh, uh, biological responsibility that like childbearing. Women are caregivers in families. I was experiencing some pains uh, at my raw abdominal. But um, unfortunately at around noon. That's when I experienced that I was breathing. We have to go to Jikuna, Apo, Hadi, Kafura, to get fake you and wait. In the process of making this documentary, we also witnessed several industrial actions in not one but four flower farms. The area trade union official arrived here only to find himself under arrest moments afterwards. They hit me around the face, they hit me everywhere. Some of our big men in this country are given shares to take care of the, the farms. The Maasai, arguably Kenya's symbolic community, inhabit Kajiado district. This land is particularly for keeping livestock and farming. And you find others now going for the flowers. The first kisima uku wa hii area. Alafu hii yangu. Alafu mama mwingine anaishi huko chini. Na hakuna mwenye sahii yako na maji. As one of the indications of pollution, although in water, these trees are in the drying process. Hapa ndio tulikuwa tunakunywa maji ya muto ambayo ilikuwa ni safi. You all thought that you're going to protect the environment together. You thought you're going to be partners. Basically, we, we've lost. Uh, we used to have tilapias in the lake, and uh, at the time, as we were speaking, uh, Lake Nevashi is not uh, offering any tilapias. These are the kind of the structures that uh, most of these flower farm workers are living in. Here in this company work uh, 30 people, and they grade all the roses from our 20 hectares of, of roses. A lot of consumers in Europe are interested to know how those flowers are produced and who are producing those, those flowers. Na wenye maua wanaendelea kunona kujaza tu. Na si mashida inatukula. Chungu sana. I kindly request the the Dutch consumer the British, the German, 
the Russian, the Indian, and any other consumer uh, to come on the ground and see the damage these flowers are causing to the Maasai.